Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and we are once again in the car doing car questions. Orion has something he would like to ask. Uh, how much um, Chevrolet volts uh, would it take to build like the time machine from Back to the Future? How many Chevy volts would it take to make the time machine from Back to the Future? Well, technically one if you have a nuclear reactor, right? Yeah. Because yeah. the, the main thing, what, I think I know what you're asking is the amount of power that's needed to power the flux capacitor. How much power do you need to power the flux capacitor? Um, 1.21. 1.21 gigawatts. 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 What's a gigawatt or what's a gigawatt? Um, one million. One billion. One billion. One billion watts. One point twenty. Yes, exactly. <laughs> A really bright flashlight. Okay, so yeah. um, <laughs> now, oh, okay, <laughs> so so let's just say, yeah, the volt. I don't think there's a problem getting the volt up to 88 miles an hour. So yeah, the the question is, could its batteries generate 1.21 gigawatts of power? And I'm pretty sure no. The reason is, um, one horsepower is about 750 watts. So um, that's a lot of horses. You would need. <laughs> That's, a lot of That's a lot of horses. Actually, I know the when you like drop your foot on the accelerator on the Volt, it'll show you the electrical power consumption. And I think the highest I've seen it go is just over a hundred kilowatts, which is actually you know when you're going from zero to thirty is like really fast. Um, I mean, it's surprisingly fast. Let's say fast enough to beat the muscle cars around here that like revving their engine. Ha ha ha. Um, so anyway, yeah, 100 kilowatts, that would mean you'd need 10 volts to generate a megawatt. You would need 10,000 to generate a gigawatt. And therefore, you'd need 1,200 and, uh, sorry, 12,100 to generate 1.21 gigawatts of power. So yeah, we're talking over 10,000 Chevy volts. Oh man, that's a lot. I don't think they've manufactured that much. I think, though, they've definitely made that many. They, now... <laughs> Yeah. Now, more interesting would, of course, be Mr. Elon Musk. What does Mr. Elon Musk do? Um, build spaceships. He builds spaceships yeah. and... Um, he, uh, he runs multiple companies that generate yeah. lots okay. of power. <laughs> yeah, I don't know much about him. Tesla. Tesla, yeah. He's the guy that runs the Tesla company oh, yeah. and he does Solar how City. Many Teslas would it take? How many Teslas would it take? Okay. Yeah, how many do you Tesla know how many horsepower a Tesla has? 750? 750 um i don't know actually but i'll tell you what right doing doing some rough mental math i know it must be over like 300 something it must be even maybe as high as 750 but i know that uh, let me let me just see if we figure out in horsepower how many horsepower we'd actually need to reach 1.21 gigawatts of power um so yeah, if you take you know, two horsepower is 1.5, and what we're really looking for is 1.3, so... Uh, oh man, 700... Uh, okay, never mind, I'm, I'm just gonna say... I'm just... Scrap that, forget about Tesla. that. A lot of Tesla. No, I think... Yeah, like... I can't do the math in my head suddenly, my, am I having a math block? But I think you would probably need at least uh, 3,000, and maybe as little as... 2000 depending upon the model of tesla you're making right um now another thing is the tesla batteries they're actually like 100 kilowatt hours so a kilowatt hour is like one kilowatt for every hour so it's actually 3.6 megajoules the question is if you want to get 1.21 gigawatts of power from a tesla battery how many gigawatt seconds do you get from a Tesla battery so that's uh, 100 times um, 3600 so that's 360 megajoules in a Tesla battery so if you could wire a few of them up and then charge up a big capacitor and unleash it all at once yeah you would need one or two you know two or three Teslas but I'll bet you what I bet you if you look at the energy that's coming out of a Falcon 9 launch, you're getting more than 1.21 gigawatts of power. I'm pretty sure that... What's a Falcon 9? The Falcon 9 is the SpaceX rocket. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the SpaceX rocket. It, rockets, you can actually figure out their energy consumption or production in terms 
of gigawatts or whatever. And rockets are some of the most powerful in, you know, installations, single objects on the planet. The Saturn V, I believe, could power 10 time machines. I think it was like 12 gigawatts of power or thereabouts that were coming off the Saturn V during its early launch. So a Falcon 9 could probably generate one tenth of that. And then it goes 88 miles per hour. And then I guess it, the, the thing with rockets is they go 88 miles an hour and then they keep going faster but how and does faster. it uh, keep at 88 miles per hour? Well, uh, that's I can keep at 88 miles an hour just by accelerating. This is a minivan. Of course it can do 88 miles an hour. I've tested this. No, I haven't. I Not anywhere that I would get a ticket. <laughs> what? Donuts. Donuts. No, we're not doing donuts. <laughs> we're not doing donuts. Not in a minivan. Yeah. A muscle car. No, I don't. I don't even remember how. Oh, yeah. Vehicle stability control. That's the one we'd need to push if we want to do donuts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, we're not getting you donuts either. We are getting you to school where you will learn about Tauruses. You know what a Taurus is? Um, no. A Taurus <laughs> is the mathematical name for a donut. Donut. Ah, yes, stop that. Uh, okay, let me just see. 1.21 gigawatts. So, I always thought it was really strange in the movies. <laughs> so, Don't wait, call 8911, it says. <laughs> we're not doing that. So, in the movies, they generate, like, the power from a little stick of plutonium that's, like, that size. And Radium! You, right. No, no, plutonium's fine for it. And, actually, if you figure it out, you can easily get 1.21 gigawatts for a few seconds from a fraction of a gram of plutonium. So, I don't know why they need these big sticks in the film, but the other side of this is that, you know, your power plant generates heat and then it converts that heat to steam and that steam generates electricity. I've no idea how the power plant in the time machine actually works. So you, what you really have to do is of course you have a heat gradient. You have heat going from hot to cold and you pull the power off. So this power plant in the back of that DeLorean somehow generates a huge amount of power and doesn't melt because it would have to be really 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 hot and have a thermal gradient. Somehow getting rid of this heat very very quickly to generate your know, 1.21 gigawatts of power for every you know gigawatt of power you put into the car through electricity you would be having to get rid of you know two to three maybe gigawatts of power through heat so that thing should glow red hot while it's doing that somehow i don't know how you can get rid of that much heat i, I guess red hot was cold <laughs> yeah you know i know it comes and then it comes out of the time travel and it's cold, right? It's got stuff frozen to it. How does that work? It's almost like the guy that wrote it wasn't a scientist or is anything. Is plutonium a radioactive material? Yes, plutonium is radioactive. It's one of three uh, things that can be used for fission fuel. Is There's uranium, uranium, plutonium, and thorium. Thorium. Yes. So, yes. Oh, and we've got something floating around here. Mm -hmm. So I think, given that we have the sound of an emergency vehicle approaching, I think this is a good time for us no. to say goodbye. I need a mustache. No. I need a mustache. You need to follow the thing. You need to draw one. We're not going to draw. What are you going to draw a mustache on? I'm this leg. Yeah, no, that, that doesn't work like that. Oh, with a dry erase marker. Okay, come on, everyone, say bye. Bye bye. No. Bye. 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 B